Hello? Who the hell are you? Uh, Byron? I'm here for a consultation. You got an appointment? No. How do you know about us? The big sign out front? Franklin, take a picture. Look at me. Sit down. What is your name? What did you come here for? Uh, my name is Byron Phillips, and uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. And by here, I mean you know, like this planet. You're not from beyond the grave, eh? No. Oh no, no, no. It's just. Um, it's just... Well, it's just that I've lost my soul. It was a year ago this month. Every morning, I would wake up and get ready for work. Like most people, I have a routine. Shit, shower, and shave. Well, two out of three. I sleep on the couch in my own place because my dog owns the bed. I don't really have a say in the matter, but we're both happy. Then I drive to work. My car sort of sucks, but I don't really mind. It sometimes stalls in third gear. I sometimes forget. I also sometimes forget the third stop sign on Cartwright Avenue. My morning is a lot like my life. Simple, easy, and somewhat mundane. And I don't mind at all. But that day was different. I woke up, got ready, but something felt, I don't know, off. I left the house, ran the sign, and that's when everything changed. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You know, most people would say that 30 is too young to have a heart attack, but apparently I was just a ticking time bomb. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy was what they called it. Yeah, yeah. I guess my, my heart was abnormally thick. It was too big for the cavity. They said I died of a big heart. Wait a minute, you mean you was dead? Yes, sir. For two minutes and 13 seconds. But as I died, I felt it, my soul leaving my body. Almost as if it was looking down at the simple, lifeless man that was, well, that was me. It's as if I could see it walk away. My soul, my being, my, my future. What? And then what happened? Well, they fixed it. Later. But I certainly died. If there were daisies, they would have been pushed. Upward. But she was there. She? Who was she? A stranger. A passerby. A happy coincidence. But I can't feel happy anymore. I can't feel anything anymore. Happy, sad... Angry, afraid, take this place for example. I should be pretty freaked out right now. I mean, look at you three. You're the oddest, strangest, most peculiar trio I've probably ever come across. But all that's gone now. It all left. It all walked away with my lost soul. Have you tried looking for it? Oh yeah, in fact, I know where it is. Every morning at 8.36 a.m., 
I sat, watched, and waited, looking for any kind of clue. Hey! Oh my goodness, it's, it's you! You remember me, don't you? Of course, you're... I'm Zoe! Byron, Byron something, right? Phil. I called the hospital and I asked about you, but I wasn't family and they wouldn't give me anything and... Um, what are you... Oh, I, I live right over there. Wow. I am, I am so glad that you're not... I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I was there. Or, actually, that I was a lifeguard in college. Me too. Wait, wait, what are you doing here? I was, um... I lost something, so I'm, I'm trying to find it. Are you okay? I think... I think that I might throw up now. Oh, God! You throw up? That's right. I have a pretty weak stomach. That is a problem. But you find it. You find what you was looking for. So what you doing here? Well, because I don't know how to get it back. <laughs>